Sudan's President Omar al-Bashir has asked his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin to protect the African country against the United States. Bashir was speaking during his first visit to Russia as president. He claimed the U.S. wants to divide Sudan into five states. He also said he wants to ramp up military ties with Moscow and praised Russia's military intervention in Syria, which has pushed terror groups to the cusp of total defeat there. We are against U.S. involvement in the domestic affairs of the Arab countries. Our country is split into two parts because of American politics. What's going on in Syria at the moment is also the result of American involvement. It's because of this that such a catastrophe happened in Syria. If it wasn't for Russia's involvement in Syria, the country would have been lost. Elsewhere in his remarks, Bashir said, we are currently launching a program to modernize our armed forces, and we agreed with the defense minister that Russia will contribute to this. Putin also said Russia is keen to intensify economic ties, including in agriculture and energy. Well, um, Mr. Bashir has all right to be concerned. I mean, don't forget that Sudan was one Sudan uh, for a protracted period of time until most recently a new nation formed with South Sudan and North Sudan. Uh, and, and of course, we've seen how those respective countries have had difficulties especially in the creation of this new state or this new country in South Sudan and the challenges that it finds domestically. So um, Mr. Bashir could have concerns that he believes that his own country will be split even further into five further places, which would make it kind of tiny, small, insignificant. Uh, and and uh, the question is why? So uh, if Mr. Bashir believes so, um, maybe he may have some grounds, but uh, uh, until until the United States can publicly come out to the open and say this is what we want to do, uh, until Mr. Bashir can show pure evidence that this is exactly what the United States is planning on doing. Sudan may have lost a huge chunk of its territory and oil reserves, but the country has emerged as a stronger economy following South Sudan's independence. It is now focusing on its own resources, which include an estimated 940 tons of gold reserves, 2,000 billion tons of iron, 150 million tons of copper, and millions of hectares of arable land. The question is, are Sudan's riches coveted by the US? Not too long ago, we had one Sudan, one Sudan, which meant that the oil wealth, uh, which was predominantly in the south, with oil pipelines that ran all the way through the north, which it happens that the most recent split between north and south Sudan with the two countries uh, formed. Uh, um, and of course, the splitting of the oil meant that the, uh, the oil wealth is predominantly in the south with all the pipelines in the north. And of course, the sharing of that oil it has always been in contentions as to who gets what and what and what the supply chain arrangements are. But I, I think paramount to all of this has been the fact that the, the West do not have control of uh, Sudanese oil. Um, and, and of course, that, that many have said that the, the reason why South Sudan was created The Sudanese leader referred to the Darfur crisis in an interview with a Russian news outlet. He said he is seeking help from Putin because the US wants to ratchet up pressure on him over Darfur, the way it did in the lead-up to South Sudan's secession. Bashir's trust in Russia is yet another reminder of the fact that Moscow has turned into a potent international player, and the days when Russia lacked influence in the world arena is a distant memory. During his visit to Russia, Bashir told Putin that Sudan would like to discuss Russia's use of military bases in the Red Sea, where he complained of, quote, U.S. interference. Well, both leaders, Mr. Bashir and Mr. Putin, they're both not respected by the West, they do not, they're not appreciated by the West, they're despised by the West uh, and unaccepted. Uh, and of course, likewise, Mr. Bashir and uh, Mr. Putin, likewise, uh, don't seem to have any form of relationships with the West or want to in the not too distant future. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think the two of them have common ground, common ground in terms of a common um, uh, uh, area of the world that they believe they can jointly work together with between Russia and and South Sudan and also the fact that they believe that the West is against both of them. 
Western media have angrily covered the Sudanese leader's visit to Russia, citing the International Criminal Court's arrest warrants against him. The ICC has accused Bashir of war crimes in Darfur, a charge he denies.